Hey, Shalom. Yahu Bashim Yahusha Barakatum, Akiyam, and uh, Akwat, uh, the listen and believe. First and foremost, call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakadash, that belongs to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to all you Akim among the four corners of the globe. A hey, uh, pushing out the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha with truth, sincerity with charity, is uh, giving your due diligence unto the Lord. A hoping to be uh, delivered from the wrath that's coming, man. Uh, it's the brother Yashari from the Great Millstone Branch of Chicago. It's coming to you again uh, with another lesson, man. I'm just hop straight into it. It's Matthew. It's the book of Matthew 4 and 7. It says, Yahweh Shai Yahweh said unto him, it, it is written again, Thou shalt not tempt Yahweh thy power. Amen. Um, as we live out these last days, you know, the ways of our people, uh, the, the customs that we took on a being under the commonwealth of our oppressors, man, you know, um, they aren't healthy for our lives and our lifestyles, man. And this is why it's important that us brothers that's in the know, and you, you sisters that's in the know, it's important that we continue to be those examples of righteousness unto the world, man, you know, and, uh, you know, more so our people, you know, uh, because this thing is about the elect uh, you know, the, 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 the elect men that's going to, uh, believe the elect people that's going to listen and believe, you know, even the one third, you know, uh, it's all about the ones that's trying to be saved, you know, and, uh, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, they, they, they misconstrue, um, you know, uh, uh, a right thing with righteousness, you know, of course it's a, it's an all right thing to, uh, you know, want to, uh, not see a young man uh, hanging on the streets with his pants sagging or, you know, uh, being a belligerent uh, Negro, <laughs> you know, uh, in, the, in the grocery store, man. You know, of course, you know, it's our, it's, a, it's an all right thing to, um, you know, tell a young lady, you know, that she shouldn't be dressing prov provocatively or, you know, letting a young lady know she shouldn't be all belligerent in the store talking all loud. But, a, uh, unfortunately, this is the uh, the world that we live in, and these are the customs that our people have took on, being uh, uh, under the commonwealth of heathens, man. And you know, like the scriptures say, hey, they surpass the deeds of the wicked. But here is it: um, these dang on uh, just I was just one. Uh, long story short, it's two articles, man. Uh, these kids. You know, they, they, they've been getting shot up, man. You know, a, uh, a guy at my school, one of my old schools, uh, had died. And then uh, these two guys just died, man. And, um, you know, they were all coming out of school, you know. And uh, long story short, a guy that I went to school with, you know, he reached out, you know, to, to some of us, basically trying to have us to go to the school and, <laughs> You know, talk to the youth, you know, the things that's been going on, ever, you know, ever since I can remember, you know, every, I remember when I was younger, you know, it'd be the old dude, the, the old troublemaker guy come, come in and talk to you after you come out of gym class or after you leave lunch and talk about how he used to be the bad guy at school. And ultimately, and I'm going to tell you something, man, when guys do stuff like that, <laughs> It don't make young Jake want to do nothing but go out and reiterate what, what they did and, and the things that they said, you know, because ain't nothing new under the sun. So a lot of our people don't realize that when it comes to righteousness, hey, it's a thing of, uh, of, 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 it's a gift, you know. Faith is a gift. You know, having a faith in your house, watching your shot, that's a gift. So hey, some of these guys, is just, they, most of these guys is not going to get it. So you can go out and tell them not to do this, not to do that, not to do this, and how you did this and that. And ultimately, you just might be furthering them, <laughs> furthering they, they thoughts, man. You know, you might be putting thoughts in their head, you know, it, it, because uh, some of our people are just in a degenerate uh, mind state, you know. It says in Jeremiah 2 and 21, it says, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine. Uh... So like he says, yet I've planted thee a noble vine, holy, a right, a right seed. How then art thou turned into a the degen so like into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? 
So, hey, man, a lot of our people, you know, uh, have fallen into that state of uh, degeneracy mentally, you know. Uh, and this right here says uh, degeneration. But uh want to look up uh, the degenerate. But um, same thing, man, pretty much. Because this was the... Uh, this was what what caught my mind when I searched it up before. It says, uh, having lost or suffered impairment to the qualities proper to the race or kind. So, like I said, man, our people coming up under the uh, the commonwealth of of Esau Edom, you know, it, it did nothing but uh, polluted them, man. And you know, we. Here in Babylon, I polluted with a sword destruction, man. A uh, these heathens came confederate, and, and Psalms eighty three, and, and they said, "Man, let's take the name of Israel away from them." And our people, they love to live in the image of being black, and being niggers, and being belligerent, and they they love that, man. But really, they don't know that they're just pleasing their father, the devil, man. You know what? I'm gonna read that real quick. And John, you know, cause um, John eight. In 40, uh, and I'm going to just get straight to the point. In 44 says, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him, when he speaketh the lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and a father of it. And a lot of our people, you know, they fall into that mindset of thinking that, you know, uh, murder, uh, robbery, uh, a lot of our people take on the spirit of um, covet, you know, uh, one of the things that they see in these music videos and, you know, lusting at the, 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 the women and the lifestyle. You know, so as they continue to live out these uh, days, you know, uh, under the rulership of Esau, Edom, you know, playing. So, you know, living in this wicked world, all they see is rape, robbery, murder on TV, man. This is all we see. Hey, every week, Esau, Edom kidnapping a little girl from one of our neighborhoods, taking them somewhere where we don't know. We ain't, we ain't finding these people, man. You know, every week, little girls coming up missing in our neighborhood and, it's a whole bunch of just just bull crap going on. So now you know furthering uh, the 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 mindset into darkness. We have all of these people in the dang on music industry. You know, being paid by Esau Edom to uh, um, <laughs> to uh, basically put those thoughts in our in our youth head, man. You know, because that's what they really want. They want the youth. They don't. They want everybody, man. You know, but they want the youth because they. That's how they further their plan, man. You know, as long as they have us in darkness, you know, the longer they have us in darkness, the, the more control they feel like they have, you know. And it says in Proverbs 4 and 14, it says, Enter not into the way, it's like an enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of the evil men. So this was uh, told unto us for a reason. So these guys, you know, talking about, man, you know, these used to be my peers. You know, I know these people. You know, these guys want to reach out and try to go talk to these youth. And I'm not going to talk to them kids, man. <laughs> hey, man, them probably be the same kids that be walking past us when we're on the line, you know, talking stuff. And, hey, man, these, these kids, is, is, is they, they, they out of it, man. You know, because, man, you, hey, 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 at age 12, our Lord and Savior, have a shot went about his father's business, man. And this is what we are to do. We are to train up a child in the way they, that they may go. What you want me to go do? Tell the kids to stop gang banging and get off the streets to do what? Go in the house and play GTA and, and shoot up people? You know, go in the house and, and get fed a, a whole bunch of other wicked bull crap on social media? Because that's all that's going to happen. Because if they aren't, if they aren't uh, reading the Bible and trying to come back to the law, that's just the commandment of the Lord. Their life is still vain, man. The scripture says all is vanity, man. Jeremiah 10 and 2 says, Hey, thus said, Yahweh bash me out, shall learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. You know, hey, our people, they took on all the customs of the heathen. 
you know, them little guys, I'm blessing my hundred percent sure all those little guys, you know, celebrated the Christmas. You know, people only they only cry inside when it's uh, uh, somebody that's close to them. But really, we're supposed to be crying and sign for all the abominations that is being done here under the sun, man. Why? Because they, it, uh, it ain't of right, man. They, uh, the foundations of the earth are out of course, man. Everything is backwards, you know? So this is, this is something that we're supposed to be signing and crying upon daily, man. Why? Because hey, hey, um, Psalms... <clears throat> So like the book of Psalms, chapter seven. So like, yeah, I can I can't even um yeah, long story short, so like Oh, this is the book of Psalms seven and eleven. It says I'll start at 10. It says, uh, uh, my defenses of Yahweh would save, would save it, the, the upright in heart. Yahweh judges the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. So a, we are supposed to be repenting in a repentative uh, state every day, knowing that we went off, man. You know, went off from our maker, man. Went off from the law, statutes, and commandments of the Lord. And, and, and now this is our punishment, having been here in Babylon, a hey, being the poor, being afflicted. But our people still want to stoop down to, to lower ways, man, to look to a base state of mind. You know, Scripture says our people are going to be destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. And that's very so much true. It says here in uh, Isaiah 51 and 20, thy sons have fainted. They lie. At, so like it. They lie at the head of all the streets. As a wild bull in the net, they are full of, of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy power. See, and I want to read that to you in uh, the E, I think it's the ESV or CEV. Uh, I think it's contemporary. I forget what it stands for. I'll, I'll go back. Um. So like yeah, I found it. Here it is in the contemporary English version. It says, "Yahweh, your power is angry, and on every street corner, your children lie helpless, like deer trapped in nets." And every <laughs> every day after these little demons get out of school, that's where they at. They on somebody's street corner, man. And then when they end up dead right there, and the next two, three days, they family there uh, rele releasing balloons. Now you want everybody to be sad. But when they was on the corner, uh, when the prophets was on the corner, on the street corners, they trying to compel you to the ways of righteousness, you didn't want to do that. So now you want, you want us to go to some dang on school and talk to some kid about, man, nah. Man, you these these all the same guys that ain't none of these guys come around. These I don't, these guys don't come around me no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they still call themselves my companion or whatnot. I haven't seen these guys in I want to say ten years. I haven't seen these people, you know. But now all of a sudden somebody get killed at the school. It's, oh yeah, we need we the OGs and we need to come together. Hey man, you gotta repent. How about that? And all that don't. It's going to be found in a pitiful case, man. You know? It's the Lord ain't playing with nobody, man. Judgment. Hey, judgment. Everybody got to gotta, gotta, uh, 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 be accounted for in that day of judgment, man. All the things that you do in your body, whether they be good and bad. Hey, all your idle words, man. Hey, the Lord is coming for a lot of these kids' words, man. These kids from the age 12 and these young women from the time they had a flower on up. Man, man what? These little kids be talking crazy in the way that we used to be scared to talk. This is how you know as the generations um, uh, go on, we get worse and worse. We wax uh, more feeble, man. You know, mentally, physically, all around. It says in uh, 1 Peter 4 and 18, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly 
and sinner appear. Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of Yahweh commit the keeping of their soul to him in well doing as a faithful creator, man. So, hey, it's all about the ones that want to keep their soul, man. <laughs> you know, hey, the righteous going to scarcely be saved. So how much more you think your little, your little wicked nephew and just go to school and he he he, he just a little, the little the the man and all the pictures they throwing up the signs and you know they got the guns and the pistols they only 14, 15 years old you when they get shot down in the street you want us to cry about it no man hey the Lord ain't gonna cry about it and so why should I so with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakakwadash. That warns again to the elders of apostles of the Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elected Israel, wherever you may be. Shalom. Till next time.